We're at car part heaven. Angel saw the camera, so he's like, we're at car part heaven. We're gonna show you guys in a little bit. I gotta make sure we can actually film here first, so I'm gonna ask Andrew. If you guys see this, that means we're allowed to print. Uh, print. <laughs> uh, Are you okay? Record here. I'm tired, not really. The corner, I don't wanna get away, but the building's, the building. It's big. Oh, there he is. All right, guys, we're at turn four. We're at turn 14. There's a beautiful one of one color, I think G80. We're at turn 14. If you guys don't know what turn 14 is, basically, basically the biggest distributor of aftermarket performance parts or anything for aftermarket applications of vehicles. Cars, trucks, UTVs, everything. Yeah, anything yeah. with a motor. So our rep is Andrew Trujillo, and he's hooking us up with a one-on-one -on -one tour of their sick facility. We haven't even started yet, and he's showing us there's a trap door. What? I'm Andrew from Turn 14 Distribution, account manager, and I've been here for six years now. All right, so I'll take you guys over this way. We're gonna get over into the sales area. This is where all the magic happens. Sales is broken up into a couple different areas, so depending on what sales team you're on, you can be in a different section. But sales starts here and goes all the way down over to that wall. See, I'm awkward. My face. If you ever have like, a, if you ever have five minutes, watch one of our videos. If you ever want to see awkward, anytime he's in the video. <laughs> Say what's up to the vlog. I'll just put LED lights in. We come all the way to turn 14 from Massachusetts for Angelo to play. Uh, there's LEDs. Here is, I think this is the sales manager's office. We're not gonna go crazy in depth, but oh, okay, the lights turned on. Like, look at this fish tank. And they have the greatest game of I Spy. Imagine playing that at work. And it's like a TV, you can change it. We're not gonna, this is, we're allowed to go in there. I'm not gonna go to everyone's office. Then this is Andrew, sales manager's office, and I see, I think that's a little deer head. Hellcat, that there on the wall. His, like, I think this is a boss. I think this is a boss, yeah. He blew it up. Uh, the car was no, there was no oil in the car. And he blew up his boss's Hellcat, which we, you all know Angelo blew up Sean's STI, so that's only fair. I think the coolest part of any business. Sean, take notes. <laughs> Actually, you could go on turn 14 and order it. Dude, we've got them in stock, ready to rock. You can actually hear some of the really it working. <laughs> so right now we're just in their office building, not the warehouse, but they got trophies, carbon fiber trophies, and we're on the second level right now, which is their marketing team. We'll do a quick little, they're down there. I'm not gonna bother anymore. I don't, I've never made a latte. Andrew just told us this is a 40. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Sorry. It's only for employees. <laughs> the staircase is pretty. Beautiful. Please, you guys don't understand how more, so like, big this place is. Our humidor back over there. You have to be at the warehouse in 15 minutes, and how far away is it? 25 minutes. Okay, yeah. You guys do the math. <laughs> We're not going to make it. Sean, bye. And it should be just good to go. Oh my god. It needs to be turned on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. It'll make it get a freaking photo booth. Wait, say that one more, one more time. The PA warehouse is 234,000 square feet for now. For now. It's time to go to the warehouse. Yeah. Not only is it a beautiful place inside, but the building outside is freaking sick. How big is this place, square footage wise? That's a great question. I don't know how big it is. A lot. Um. Yeah, sorry. A lot. I had the answer for you. It's big. But I can tell you for sure that we generate all of our own electricity and then even sell some back to the grid. Oh, hell yeah. Right, off to uh, the warehouse now, the fun right. stuff. This place is huge. And we went from 50,000 to this 234,000 okay. square feet. And it was cool because the whole warehouse is empty. It was just what you see on the exterior. Yeah. And uh, there was no pallet racking in here whatsoever. So as we walked this direction, the automatic LED lights just kept coming on. And it was like, is this a joke? Like, what? when, when do they stop coming on? And it, it <laughs> just, just keep going happen. all the way down. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so come on inside. Places, check in. Right where the though. bathrooms are, they used to have. We're going in. Holy shit.
like really a logistics company that specializes in car parts. If everybody is ordering from the small area, you can only pick so many items, and you can only have so many items. So it becomes difficult for us to get the number of items that we need out of this area. So earlier today I mentioned that it's 234,000 square feet now. We're expanding another 100,000 square feet right across the road that borders that, uh, that wall over there. some Mishimoto parts. So if you guys order any of those brands from us, there's a very good chance it came off of one of these shelves. This one's for you. Whoa, there you whoa, go. Wait, <laughs> Yin Yang spinny things. You guys hours off on receiving, so all of this stuff came in at latest on like Friday. Those are all the empty boxes? Those, are, Yeah, those are all, all boxes. Got, I got one day I ordered a catalog, right? A small catalog. Yeah. From I think Motul. Motul. Right. And uh, I got it and it was like a box this big. Yeah. I opened it I'm like, they can yep. just save the box. Right. See if you guys reference. I'm 6'4 on a good day. We're gonna walk down. We're gonna go, we're gonna go down this one. You ready, guys? Oh my Holy Jesus. Take it off. <laughs> Who's gonna come out like this? That's Today why I the right day. I brought a 3XL on the medium. <laughs> All right, so have, good. Well, guys. I'm guessing you've walked down these aisles before. Oh, yeah. Okay, yep. so you're used to so yep. I see a nitro salad box. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I want a cool box. Oh. Oh, God. I couldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, pull it up. Holy. Anybody? I just ordered like six or seven of them. There you go. I'm going to order more. Hold Hopefully on. they were all in this one area. See, if you don't put that back in the exact same spot, someone's going to be mad. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, some oh, tips. Oh. Race stars. A weld. There you go. That was what I was talking about. And when we started all the way over there and the whole thing was empty, it was, it seemed like a joke. I was like, all right, so whose warehouse are we in? We're never <laughs> going to fill this. And like now we're all the way here in the back corner. Yep. Big. This place is. You know, taking box after box and putting it on there. He can go and if he knows that like a particular spot is empty, he can put all of those items, even though it's an assortment of brands and products, anywhere he wants. I don't think I've ever gotten something that's uh, the wrong part number. I'll be honest with you, I almost mm -hmm. never have it. It's rare. Yeah. And I'll show you why. We'll go over there where uh, the actual receiving of products happens and that's where yeah. the proprietary stuff starts to come in and helps prevent those things. If anybody needs a cat back, let us know. Um, we have the, so. These are all exhausts. All exhausts. Ah, okay. 90% of this are cat backs. That would suck if a box fell. If I weren't here, I'd wear Heelys. Oh, wait, wait, what size are those? Those look like 15s. Those are shipping out, right? No, these are all. If you guys don't know, this is the tire that I use on my vet, and they are on back order for over a year and a half, and they got a bad batch in, and I would kill to just... What makes it a bad batch? They don't last as long, cool, burn out. I need these. Those are bad. I'm sad. Those tires, where do they go? I don't know. Oh, there's enough. Never mind. We don't know where the tires go. They're going outside, I know there's like a wall where if it's on the curb, it's everyone's free real estate, so... Roll that outside right now. That's Got it. I'll make a trip. Yeah. I'll make you all the people over there and we'll get it outside. The door's right there, so. Look, post up trophies. This is what really makes it cool. This is sick. And we have here at the warehouse install it. They can identify what the product is and then it records the actual weights and dimensions of that individual product. So as that item is being received, we know what purchase order that came off of, what the part number is. Exactly what size that physical box was. We just needed a size. Uh, so all of that is recording at the computer warehouse. So, put that one right there. Yeah. It's probably missed it, which means that if you watch over here, it'll come over into a separate logo and watch that box. So that box should go straight. It should, yeah. Struggling a little bit. 
the shredders on the bottom. Yeah. But if you watch that tape, it's little green wheels. That one's good, yeah. Is that right there? Yeah, look at this. The arm will come out. Yeah, yeah. One of the reasons why we love working with this company, the people here are awesome. Andrew is sick. Wow. He's, he's off Sunday. It's a Sunday, and he's here giving us a one-on-one -on -one tour of the office building, which is 25 minutes away from here, and then he took us here, which is the warehouse, obviously. And this is one of, like, yeah. three. So, hey, we need shout to out to Turn 14. You guys are awesome. Thank you. One day you are going to be going too. This breaks my heart. Breaks my heart. Got a little two spoolie boys. And then these are all returns. For my fast guys and girls out there. The Mickey Thompson ET Street bars or the SS's you get from us, they come off these very shelves right here. So if you guys get the Toyo RRs, what else we got? We got this really small, if you, any of you dragster people out there need a dragster. Got the four steering wheel cover, as Andrew says. We got a set of 315, 50, 17 ET Street R's. It's kind of cool seeing it in person and where they kind of come from. It's definitely cool. And there's tires everywhere. And technically right now they're low on inventory for tires. And guess what? I spotted a slick. 34, 13 and a half. Oh my god. That is sick. What you guys Those things go high. <laughs> Sean's running the part number. I'm gonna take a guess. It's a... It's a, it's a baby. It's something big. This is Sean's. Angelo, that would, that would not have fit in your van. Yeah. Maybe not. Not a, not a, not a, no, 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 no. Don't hype him up. Don't hype him up. It is. It's big. It's been huge. Supercharged all this time. I have a player. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in on this one. Yep. These boxes will be in each one of these bins. We'll scan each item, and then one of the bins will glow. And it means that that small item goes into that package. What that allows us to do, instead of filling a blue tote with one order worth of items, there could be 30 order worth of items in this bin, um, going to all different customers. But you can pack all of the different customers' orders all at the same time. So you scan the first part number out of there, it belongs to this bin, you put it in that thing. You scan the next thing, it belongs to this one. You scan the next thing, it belongs to this one. You scan the next thing, it belongs in that same box where you put the first item. Okay. Uh, so this is just one of the ways that we try to like... It's hard to hear down here, but what he was just saying is one thing has been on that shelf and they go up above us, and once it gets slapped, that barcode is when we get tracked. Process from the minute we place the order, yeah. around like 15 to 35 minutes. Like 15, yep. 15, 15, 15 to 35 minutes is when we get updated on track. It doesn't mean that it's left the facility, but labels graded, it's on the box, and it's uh, on the way to the customer, our shop, or whoever. Holy Jesus. Horrible. Okay, important thing up here, don't touch.
other than the fact that it's unique to each individual package. So now is it going to skip that number since you peeled it off? Yeah, it's the like system skip. doesn't care. It's fucked up yeah. everything. So if I take that whole thing and throw it away, no, like the system wouldn't know. Yeah, you. I'm not going to do that. Oh, I think he might do that. We could like take this box and put a different LPN on it, and it would never make any difference. How does it do that? It's just the LPN is only important for the shipment itself. So the LPN is really just a way for you to identify that item is something that holds other items. That's so that you can add items to its inventory. If that makes sense. That's pretty cool. Up there, goes on the conveyor belt, down here, and then it goes down all these different racks, different tractor trailers, FedEx, DHL, UPS, you name it, they all go down to their own separate conveyor to the tractor trailer. And then it's off to you guys. All sorts of system handlers. No. We built the system, so we had to test Now you guys know where that stuff comes from. Well, basically, they're going to scan the wrong number of boxes up and see what happens. We're going to see what happens. Well, Fail safe mechanic. Okay. I'll show you guys the fail safe. So, so there will be a, a tunnel that you'll drive through, essentially? Underground? No, no, oh. it's not really. There will be a bridge that goes over this roadway. That's a better way to put it. Okay, so there's going to be another yeah. building right here. I got you, Sam. Oh, God. Yo, he's swinging. So, that's one of Andrew's toys. Gladiator. So, look at this close. This truck's clean. Okay. That, 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 Actually, from Massachusetts, damn. That would all for Sean. That would not have fit in your it van. Fit. No, it wouldn't have. You should have brought the van just because the van's cool. No, come on, Andrew. <laughs> Let's go. I'm telling you, I'm dealing with Stephanie for now on. <laughs> Thank Thank you. You. You're welcome, brother. Thank awesome. you for the nice long one tour. Yeah. Time. Thank, Thank you. you. It's going to wrap it up for turn 14. Obviously, you guys can't all come here, so we're going to try to share the experience. Andrew over there hooked up, give us a one-on-one -on -one tour, so we appreciate it. Thank you, Andrew. And uh, that's it for this video. We're going to catch you guys on the next one. Oh, all right. Andrew's going to do the outro. That's all, folks. <laughs>